What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It has been so long since I've actually sat in a chair and filmed something for you guys. And today I'm, I have a funny feeling in me that you are going to love what I'm going to put out today. So today I'm going to be actually cutting my own hair. Now a lot of you know, I've said it on the channel before, I cut my own hair. It's a known fact. Um, but my past hair cutting videos that I put out, obviously I didn't have like the editing experience, the videography experience that I do now. So I'm going to refilm um, my hair cutting things <laughs> with you guys. Also, my haircut, like my hair cell kind of changed. So um, usually you're used to see me like do this. Now I'm just gonna lay it flat because most of the time when you see me do this, then I end up having like, here, let me try to like see if I can replicate it because it's a problem. You don't really see it now, but I used to have like, this part was okay, but when you would gradually go up and it'll be like, so like that, like that. Like if you go back to my channel, you'll see what I mean. So I'm gonna like X that out today. Uh, I have a comb here. I'm just gonna brush while I talk to you guys. So I've been cutting my hair ever since I was a freshman in high school. So two years now, I've come a long way. Like my first haircut wasn't too bad. Um, probably was bad actually, I don't even know. Um, I was It was decent for what I thought was good at the time. But as time went on, I was like, oh my God. There's no way I can cut my hair like this anymore. My assistant principal accused me of having a mohawk and told me I had to shave it, but like I never did. Um, Cause I'm not gonna do that for you. For you, no. <laughs> so what is on the agenda today is I have my tools. <laughs> I got this at Walmart. Um, I will be linking everything down in the description box below using my Amazon affiliate links. So um, be sure to check this thing out. This is really cheap. My mom was the one that actually used to cut my hair and she used to go to beauty school even though you'd probably never realize that she went to beauty school. <laughs> but she had a wall, like W-A-H-L, that brand of a hair clipper for like 20 years. So we finally got this one and it works so great. It was like 13 bucks at Walmart, you can pick it up. I'll leave it in the description. You can buy it on Amazon. But yeah, we're gonna get started. I'm gonna tell you what my haircut, like what I'm trying to go for, insert picture. So yeah, like obviously the sides of his hair are like a lot longer, but I don't want long sides. I don't think it looks good on me, honestly. Every time I look in the mirror, I'm just like, Ugh. I don't want it to be too drastic. Like if I go to, cause I have school tomorrow. So I don't want to go to school and be like, oh my gosh, like your sides are so short. Like I have my length measurement thing. It's a number two, it's a quarter inch. And I'm going to set the um, little thing right here. I'm going to set it all the way to the high. Oh, wait, yeah. Did you hear that? <laughs> that little click, click, click. I set it all the way to the highest part because if I put it to the lowest part, this is gonna go down and it's gonna cut my hair shorter. And I don't want that this time, even though I typically prefer shorter hair on the sides, um, I just am not feeling it. We're just gonna start cutting. And I really should have like a cape on, I sh or be like shirtless or something, or like at least have a tank top, top on, but I don't feel like stripping down right now. So um, I'm doing this in the mirror. I have my phone for reference and I also have a mirror right over there that I'm looking at and all the hair is getting everywhere. Make sure you guys have a broom, a dustpan, or a vacuum cleaner. Like that's gonna make all the difference. And I'm just gonna go around and literally brush, okay? Um, I'm not gonna go all the way up yet because I'm gonna have a little tip for you guys at the end because that's the total game changer right there. You have to know this tip if you wanna cut your hair correctly. I'm gonna go pretty quickly actually because I don't have all the time in the world. I forgot to take a thumbnail, crap. So as you can see, I'm just going across. I'm being very sloppy um, because I don't really care at this point. <laughs> but I typically cut my hair every two weeks. Uh, sometimes I'm lazy and stretch it out for three, but that's when you start to see that my hair is looking really bad. So I don't do that as much, only if I'm staying home. You know, when we were under lockdown, that's what I did. Um, I left it out pretty long. Well, actually not pretty long, but like, you get what I'm saying. Um, as you can see, my hair is looking pretty darn good, um, except this part. So basically, don't you don't wanna touch this part right now because when you touch this part, your head, your skull is naturally curved. So you're gonna have a curved side combined with the hair on top and it's not gonna look good. I have reference right here. This is what my mom did to me um, as a freshman. 
Um, and I was like, you know what? I am not gonna do it with you anymore. We are not cutting. I'm not gonna let you cut my hair anymore. Um, I think I let her cut it a few times after that, but I was like, done, no more. So I'm gonna go to the back right now. So as you can see, you saw me um, do this like to the to my hair. Oh look, this is gonna be cool. Woo. Um, so as you can see, I do this to my hair. I when as I'm cutting, I do this. Okay, I go with my other hand, and that just gives me um, like an idea of what I'm doing back there, an idea of what line to follow. Because God forbid, I just go up and go all the way up here, and that's gonna be so bad. So I typically just do this motion just to get an idea of where I should be stopping my clippers. As you can see, this little part is sticking out. That bugs me a lot. So I'm gonna look in my mirror and fix that because that's really embarrassing. Okay, honestly though, at this point, this is where this is where things start to get very like meticulous. You have to be very careful. So as you're cutting, as you get up here, you want to make this motion with your clippers. Flick out, okay? Flick it out. Because if you don't and you just go like in, you're gonna have the curved head and look like this. That is something you don't want to have happen to you. So it's very important as you start getting up, I'm gonna start flicking upwards. I'll do it here first. Honestly though, it looks really good on, oh, whoa. I did not cut some of this part. Oops, fail on my part. Okay, so as you can see right here, that part sticking out. So I'm just going to very lightly, not like push it in my head, but like very lightly flick. You have to have a very easy arm, a very easy wrist and hand. You don't want to mess anything up and you don't want to be a scaredy cat either. And literally let that motion go and let that repetitive act just keep letting you go on because God forbid you start getting nervous and you make a mistake. And yeah, it does take experience, but I promise you, once you start to get the hang of it, it is literally a walk in the park. So that kind of got fixed. I'm gonna try to see what I can do. A little more, a little more. Okay, okay, looks good. Let's, oh, that is so good. I gotta go back here because if you can see this part right here, it's really dumb. I'm gonna actually follow along with my head shape because I don't want it to look like a square. I just realized that. So I'm just gonna do like this. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna follow that curve, but not curve it in too much. Otherwise you're cutting too much hair. You're gonna look stupid. Very lightly people, very gently. Don't put the whole thing in. A few moments later. Wow, that looks so clean. That is sick. Okay, I'm honestly a little more like correction right there. That would look so good. Yes, okay. Oh God, <laughs> I just got hair in my nose. <laughs> this side looks really good also. So I might just be done with my haircut. It looks so, so good. I'm starting to see a little bit of a curve. Do you see this little dip right here? Yeah, yeah, that's what we don't want. I'm gonna stop. Make sure the back is okay. I think I got hair in my mouth. Why is my tongue blue? What did I eat today? Lucky charms, oh God. All right, <laughs> that's it for me. Um, I'm gonna leave the top alone. I wanna grow out the top of my hair just so I can get it long because that's gonna look really good to me. Um, combined with the short size, it's gonna look so good. So I have the option of like leaving it like this or I just like bring it down because that's what I've been doing for the past few weeks and I've gotten compliments from Gabby. Like she's like, I just love it so much. Don't you guys like it better like this? Cause it looks better as opposed to him pushing it up. So I'm just gonna take that advice. All right, you guys, Thanks. that is it for my haircut. That was so freaking easy. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel and I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Yeah, give this video a thumbs up and um, join the Vinny Vlogs fam. I don't have a name for us yet. So um, y'all are gonna have to brainstorm something and I have hair all over me. Wish me luck cleaning all this up. Peace out you guys. And, and if you guys decide to cut your own hair, then please tag me on Instagram at the Vincent Trans so I can see and like and comment. And I have hair in my throat. Peace.